confession. I am a proud member of Team Long Hair Don't Care. <laughs> now that we're clear on that, I'm filming today my current hair care routine. I know this has been so requested and since I may be cutting and dyeing my hair soon, I really wanted to make sure that I did this for you girls first. So to understand my routine, I think we need to take a trip down memory lane. Well, maybe not that far. <laughs> what you see in front of you is 100% virgin hair. My senior year of high school, I first colored my hair, and from there, girl, I went crazy for about two years. So the lucky color to pop my cherry was half black on top and half red underneath. And I went back and forth to this combination a few times. To this day, it was still my favorite ever. I've also had black, all kinds of browns, half black and half blonde, even all red, and even purple. I mostly dyed my own hair, but I was scared to go bleach blonde for the first time by myself, so I did it in a salon and it burned half of my hair. Exhibit A, totally damaged hair. I was devastated and I went back to dark in an attempt to cover it up, but this actually looked worse. So people thought it was on purpose and they told me they loved the style and I really like cried for days. So you see those short flips kind of sticking out? Yeah, those are burned ends, totally not the style I wanted, totally not on purpose. After that, while I was three months pregnant, hormones got the best of me and I cut all my hair up to my chin. <laughs> Again, I cried for weeks and weeks and since then, I was kind of traumatized so I haven't really cut my hair besides one at-home trim last year where I added layers and I actually filmed it so I'll link it down below and I'll film an updated version when I cut my hair again soon. Now jumping ahead to today, let's begin. I am a strong believer that to be healthy from the outside, you need to be healthy on the inside and that's when it comes to hair, nails, skin, appearance, everything. Everything that we see here is basically a reflection of what's going on inside. So <laughs> it sounds kind of funny but you have to like look at hair care and stuff like that and begin inside. The vitamins that I take daily and I usually take them in the morning are number one is a multivitamin and this is just a centrum. I get the specialist ones because I like to get the one that comes with like the extra boost of energy. Then I also take one of these. Um, you guys have probably heard of fish oil or omega I forgot the number, it's like 3, 6, or 9, one of those. But this is basically fish oil, the only difference is that this is a multi-omega. So it has flax oil, bor borage oil, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and fish oil. And I take one of these a day, fish oil is amazing for your body, for your health, for your brain function. And finally I take um, biotin, and this one is just by Nature Made Superior Potency, it's 5,000 micrograms, and it's for healthy hair, skin, and nails. So how and when I wash my hair. I wash my hair every two or three days. They say it's not good to wash your hair every day because you're stripping it of the natural oils that are in your hair. And I, um, I don't really get that oily or greasy to begin with. So usually, it depends on when it is. In the summer, I'll wash my hair every other day. And if it's like colder or it's winter time, then I'll try to let it rock that extra day. So let's say um, it's a Friday and I wash my hair on a Friday, then I won't wash my hair again until either Sunday or Monday. Now, as to how I wash my hair, I switch out my shampoos and conditioners. It depends. They, Your hair tends to get used to certain treatments that you give it and then they become not as, not completely ineffective, but not as effective. So when I see that my hair is like kind of not like fill in the product anymore you guys will notice it then that's when I switch out products I've been using the Garnier Fructis fortifying shampoo and conditioner from their fall fight line because I was noticing a lot of fallout and it might have been the change of season I don't know but since I started using this I have definitely seen an improvement in the amount of fallout and the amount of hair that's left in the shower drain when I'm done when it comes to shampooing I put the shampoo in my, ha in my hand and I focus it on the top of my head. So up here and I scrub it and I get a nice lather and then I like bring the rest of my hair up and I get that all up in the lather too. So I focus the product on the top of my head and then bring everything up and really scrub and get it all nice and clean and lathered up. Now with shampoo, I also use another shampoo once in a blue 
and it's the macadamia natural oil rejuvenating shampoo i love 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 this shampoo it's color safe sulfate free and paraben free it's amazing but i don't use it all the time because it is more on the pricey side it also doesn't lather up as much as a regular shampoo would so i feel like i have to use more of this product to get like a nice lather so i use this like maybe once every two or three weeks i'll use this another thing i do when i am shampooing my hair i really like lather and get up in there and i give my head my head i give myself like a scalp or head massage while i am shampooing and this is really good for your hair it promotes hair growth it rushes blood to your head it just makes you feel so good you feel like you're in the spa it takes away tension it de-stresses you it's like good for everything and it's also good to promote hair growth because you're really like working in there and getting like the blood flowing in there so it's going to promote um growth at the roots and yeah <laughs> and it feels good guys so yeah i give myself a little head massage when i'm shampooing then for conditioner, the way I use my conditioner, I take it again in my hands and I focus it from here down. So pretty much like if I was doing a low ponytail, I focus it all down here, especially on my ends. Make sure they get that extra loving, you know, really get all the conditioner on your hair. I don't like to put um, conditioner up here really. After I've put it down here, if there's like a little bit left in my hands, I'll just like quickly swipe it up there. But you don't really need to condition the top portion of your hair because this is all new growth. So this is basically like virgin, clean, baby, nice, natural hair. So I mentioned that I do switch out my um, shampoo and conditioner from time to time. Usually about every month, sometimes I'll find one that I love, like this set, and I'll use it for more than a month. But I'm going to switch it probably soon because there's some other ones that I've been wanting to try. Um, the next one that I'll, I'll get is probably either the Pantene Moisture Renew shampoo and conditioner or the Tresemme split and therapy shampoo and conditioner because I've been wanting to try those two out so it's probably going to be one of those two that I'm going to pick between. <laughs> deep conditioning. I do deep condition every time that I wash my hair because my hair is really long and it's been through crap. <laughs> um, I really like put my hair through a lot so I like to give it that extra like TLC so I do deep condition it every time that I wash my hair, but since I do wash my hair like every three days, it's really not that much when you think about it. I'm deep conditioning like twice a week. But like as a side note, just make sure you read the information and the directions on the particular product that you're using because there are some deep conditioners that you can't use more than once a week. So the ones that I use are the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and I love, 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 love this stuff. It is amazing. My hair loves it, and it's... I can't say enough about this stuff plus it smells really good it's really moisturizing it's just so good for my hair um, and I use this once every other week because this stuff is kind of pricey so I want it to last me as long as possible I don't want to buy another one yet so I do use this once every other week and this one actually says on the back um, this is an intense treatment used no more than twice a week and the one that I use Every other time, when I'm not using the macadamia one, I use this Run Pure Organics Argan Oil Deep Penetrating Reconstructor. <laughs> That's like a mouthful. And this one actually says on it, this product can be used on a daily basis. And I got this in Dwayne Reed for like 3 or 4 or $5, somewhere in that range. So it was really affordable and it has no sodium chloride, no salt, no dyes, no sulfates, no parabens, and no gluten. Extremely good for your hair. Again, this has been amazing on my hair, really moisturizing. <laughs> when I'm done washing, conditioning, and deep conditioning my hair, when I'm just done with everything, I personally like to take really hot showers and like really let it get really steamy and hot and that's so bad for your skin too because it's just like really drying but whatever it's bad for your skin and it's bad for your hair too cold water is really good for your hair it seals in your cuticles so like every strand of hair like every one little tiny strand of hair has cuticles all along it so when your cuticles are out they look like this pretty much like this is your strand of hair and just you've got cuticles everywhere sticking out at jutted edges and that's what adds to the frizziness of your hair also but when you give your hair the shock effect which is pretty much just 
I lean back like this and I put the little shower thing over here and I turn the water cold, slowly cold and cold and colder until like as cold as I could take it pretty much and just let the cold water run over my hair. So that's going to go ahead and seal up the cuticles and just make you have stronger, beautiful and more, um, well more shiny also but that's not the word I'm looking for, smoother hair because it's going to close in all your cuticles and really seal them in there. <laughs> I do use the Garnier Fructis Fall Fight Strand Saver Anti-Breakage Spray. And I'm using this because I'm currently using the shampoo and conditioner. I like to use the whole line to get like the best results. So I have been using this uh, as well and it just says conditions and reinforces hair and scalp to help prevent breakage. Another treatment that I use is the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. This is amazing and I just put in my hair and I focus it on my ends to kind of soften them up and you know give them back some life but I also put it pretty much from like here down. I'll just put this into my hair and this is really again really moisturizing I like it because it doesn't leave my hands really greasy like some other oils I just wipe my hands with a towel and I'm good to go other oils you'll like wipe and wash and everything and you still feel like your hands are greasy so I like that and I also like it because when I put it on my hair like I swear to god my hair sucks it up like it's drinking milk or something it just it just seeps into my hair so that makes me feel like it's really working and it's getting in there so I like this stuff and finally I also use this is like my baby I love this stuff this is the Pantene detangler this one is for normal to thick hair I will not brush my hair if I do not use this detangler because my hair just gets it's really long again guys there's a lot of bad parts about having long hair but it's really long so it gets crazy knotted so I use this and it says silkening and it is I just spray this all over especially focusing like right around this whole middle section of my hair it gets knotted there so I focus it there and it really does detangle it does the job and I love this stuff I can't be without that Okay, so we're out of the shower already, right? I've got all these, like, treatments in my hair and stuff. Then I grab... Well, I don't grab this one, actually. I love um, the wide tooth comb that came with my macadamia set. But I have a little three-year-old with sticky little fingers who loves to touch my stuff. So my comb has been missing for, like, a week now. So yeah, it's probably like hidden under a bed or in the back of some cabinet that it shouldn't be in, but I'm sure it'll turn up eventually. But I just grabbed this one to show you guys for now. It's just a wide tooth comb. Some people don't like to brush out or comb out their hair when it's wet, but I do just because my hair is so long. Again, it'll get really knotted. I just want to get the knots out. When your hair is wet, the elasticity of your hair is a bit weaker than when it's dry, so it's easier for your hair to break and all that stuff. So I pretty much just start at the ends and comb my way up like that, making sure, oops, making sure to get out all the knots until I get all the way to the top and I can run it all the way down and I use a wide tooth comb again gently and yeah that works for me when I come out of the shower generally I let my hair air dry when I am letting it air dry I always use a clip or if not a butterfly clip any type of like clip like this plastic I don't like to put it in a scrunchie or an elastic or anything material like that because Again, when your hair is wet, the elasticity, it's, it's um, weakened and your hair can break easily and the elastics, the elasticity and the elastics and like scrunchies and hair elastics and hair ties like that can damage your hair when it's wet more so. So I don't use it for that reason and also because my mom, since I was little, has always gotten it in my head that anything with like material cannot go on your wet hair because it like gets damp and it stays humid and that's bad for your hair so I tried to leave my hair in its natural state as much as I can but when I'm filming for you guys or if I'm going out I do do my hair I do flat iron my hair so I let it air dry and I'll like flat iron it the next day I use the Chi iron guard and I love this stuff I love the way it smells more than anything. I know a lot of people use the Tresemme one. I think I have the Tresemme heat protectant. I use it sometimes, but this is the one that I use the most, and I love the way this stuff smells, and it's, like, really good. It's just a heat protectant, a heat spray, so I spray this on before I um, put any heat into my hair. Hey, guys, I think that's 
everything. Um, I know this video was like super duper requested and I hope it lived up to what you guys were expecting and I hope I gave you some tips and pointers and some things maybe you didn't know and I was helpful. Let me know what your hair care routine is, what is your favorite product for your hair that you absolutely love, a product that you cannot live without because you feel like it is so good for your hair. And if you guys have a hair care routine already filmed, then leave it as a video response down below so I can learn something from you guys as well and see what you guys use. So yeah, my loves, thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me this afternoon. I had a lot of fun sharing all this information with you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!